Welcome to Thursday, September 29th, 2022. Your day with a podcast brought to you by Cowboy State Daily. Cowboy State Daily has more original Wyoming news content than anybody else in the state. Check them out at CowboyStateDaily.com. Another nice day. Boy, it's been a nice run. Going back to this past weekend and really up through today, it's been an extension of summer. Just really nice conditions. However, showers will be increasing in western Wyoming, parts of Idaho, Montana today. The western slope of Colorado, parts of Utah, you're going to start to see some showers along with these comfortably warm temperatures. Those showers will spread south and east. Meandering low pressure is the best way to describe it. It's a low pressure system coming off the coast of British Columbia and Washington. It's not have any connection at all to any Arctic air, so it'll be a cooler, moist Pacific air mass coming on in. That will mean good chances of rainfall. I think a lot of you will get measurable rain between now and Monday. It won't come all at once, off and on. It will be cold enough. Snow will fall in the higher elevations of Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, and Colorado, but the highest elevations. Snow levels are going to be pretty high, but if hunters are going to be heading into the high country this 1st of October coming up this weekend, a lot of seasons opening up, and if you're going to be in the northern and western mountains of Wyoming, eastern Idaho, western Montana, and then eventually the high central mountains of Colorado this weekend and early next week, probably above nine or 10,000 feet, there's going to be a little bit of snow. No threat of a hard freeze yet. Here we are. We're already past the average frost freeze date in many areas. And uh, where's the cold? We'll talk about that here in a minute. Some great shots coming on in of the fall colors. Wow. Just some beautiful shots. Keep that camera handy this weekend and make sure you send in the photos. Gooding at not only great shots of the aspens turning but also we've had spectacular sunrises and sunsets here lately it's been nice to clear out the smoke and haze as well having some great opportunities here one from spearfish canyon in south dakota so get out and enjoy the changing fall colors and email them to podcast at dayweather.com satellite photo today shows the swirl of clouds right up here coming into the pacific northwest that's going to be under you can see that there's increasing humidity being drawn in from this storm right here out of Mexico. And there's some cool, moist air coming off the Pacific as well. This is the system as it's going to be by late afternoon and evening, right over the panhandle of Idaho. And then it's just going to mosey on through. In fact, this is by Saturday evening. So this is by this evening. This is by Saturday evening. And this is by Tuesday morning. So it's going to take from today through Tuesday to come through here. So there'll be a multiple day pattern of moist, unstable air over the Rockies, parts of the Western High Plains, and this is gonna produce areas of showers and thunderstorms. Now closer to the low, look at Montana. Montana picking up significant rain out of this, really almost the entire state stretching into North Dakota there. But look at Wyoming, Eastern Idaho, the Wasatch Front of Utah, getting down into Arizona and New Mexico. For those of you heading down to Balloon Fiesta in Albuquerque this weekend and next week, gonna have to be dealing with some afternoon and evening showers and thunderstorms there. So you can see where the moisture is going to be over the next four days with this slow moving low. Temperatures though really aren't all that bad. These are temperatures by late Saturday afternoon and evening. You can see under the thicker clouds and rain, it is gonna be cooler, but this is not cold at all really for the first weekend of October. Cooler, yes, but really not all that bad. But cold enough for snow. You can see that the snow is looking heavier now from the Beartooths to the Wind Rivers to near the Tetons and the Bighorns, even the Uintas up high. In the highest mountains of Colorado, you're going to get a little bit of snow as well. A lot of folks are saying, well, where is the cold? We just talked about how we haven't had a hard frost freeze yet in most areas. Some areas have touched below freezing, but not on a widespread basis. Well, where's the cold? Well, here it is. It's on the other side of the globe. As you get into parts of Russia, Siberia, the higher northern latitudes here, also, as you get into Mongolia, the higher plateaus up there, it's actually been pretty cold here, there for the last couple of weeks. So there's a lot of cold air on the other side of the globe. I'm going to step through time here and show you that this area of cold is going to start to migrate this way. And once it gets up into around here, that's when we start paying closer attention to that colder air having the opportunity to come this way. 
But right now, it's all the way completely opposite, completely opposite from us on the other side of the world. By next Wednesday, this is by next Wednesday, look at the shift. See the green and the blues and the purples there? Moving into Korea, moving into Japan, moving into China. And then later on, by next weekend, it gets a little diffuse, but notice Alaska getting colder and notice the cold right here. Okay, so this is where we start to pay attention. So right around the 9th or the 10th, the cold air gets more in a better position for us. So what may happen is towards right, right towards the middle of October is when we're probably looking at that shot of colder weather coming. Now over the next 10 days, look at this. This is the snowfall for the next 10 days. Look at this extensive snowfall right here. This is significant. And what you gotta remember, at these higher latitudes, when you start putting snow on the ground, it's not really melting, it's starting to build up. So that cold air mass I showed you here, and as it transits this way, is not only gonna help form snow, but that snow will then make the ground colder, the air colder as the days get long, the days get shorter, and the nights get longer. So you're wondering where the cold is, it's on the other side of the globe, and it's probably about two weeks away. Have yourself a great Thursday, see you tomorrow.